Supreme Buddha, the Buddha is my refuge every day. May my homage to the gem of the Supreme Dhamma, the Dhamma is my refuge every day. May my homage to the gem of the Supreme Sangha, the Sangha is my refuge every day. May my homage to the Supreme Triple Gem. The Triple Gem is my refuge every day. Sadhu, Sadhu, Sadhu. Samanta Chakravali Su Atra Gachantu Devata. Sadhamang Munirajas Sunantu Sagamokhadang. Dhamma Savana Kalu Ayang Badanta. Dhamma Savana Kalu Ayang Badanta Dhamma Savana Kalu Ayang Badanta May all divine beings arrive here to listen to sublime Dhamma expounded by the fully enlightened one. Namo Tas Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhas Namo tas bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhas Namo tas bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhas Honor to the Supreme Buddha, the Blessed One, the Exalted One, the Fully Enlightened One. Meritorious devotees, Dhamma friends, you all are going to listen to sublime Dhamma expounded by the fully enlightened one. Today I am going to explicate to you about the gravity of the problem of being born in the samsara. Actually the Supreme Buddha says birth is suffering. 
the Buddha says, birth is suffering, jati pi dukkha. We have heard this, we have learned this, we have listened to this statement from the very beginning of our life. But have you actually uh, concentrated on this? Have you thought of this uh, in a deeper manner? That is the thing that I have to explicate to you today. Because uh, jati pi dukkha in the sense, the one statement would not uh, sufficiently uh, explicate the real situation. It has a, you know, kind of uh, associated meanings, associated meanings in the sense, what is uh, born, actually what is born, what is jati? Jati is birth of an I, birth of an I and birth of the nose and birth of the tongue, birth of the body, birth of the mind, all these things are jati. Now that is jati vidukha. For example, the Supreme Buddha explicates in one of the, uh, you know, various discourses that we find in Sanyutta Nikaya, Salayatana Sanyutta. They are the uh, place where almost all the, uh, you know, these uh, faculties, regarding the faculties, uh, have been explicated vividly. In this uh, regard, today I would like to explicate to you about one of the uh, very important discourses called uh, you know, uh, Uppad, discourse on, uh, discourse called Uppad, that means birth. Yochako bhikkave chakkusa uppado titi abhinibhati pātu bhavo, dukkha seso uppado roganan titi jaramarana sa pātu bhavo. Buddha there says, Yochako bhikkave chakkusa uppado, o because it is said, if, I mean, the birth of an I, Chakusupadu, Titi, that means uh, uh, staying, Abhinibhati, special birth, Patubhavu, that means appearance, is Dukkha Sesupadu, that is the birth of suffering, that is birth of suffering. Now, we have not thought of the rising of, rising of appearance of this uh, uh, I is suffering because I is something very important for us. Ear is very import, something very important for us. Nose is something very important for us. Tongue is something very important for us. Body is something very important for us. Mind is with something very important for us. Therefore, never ever we thought, we think these faculties are suffering. But ultimately, when we think in a deep manner, we can understand uh, as an undercurrent, the operation of suffering, operation of suffering takes place within these six faculties, within these six faculties. So, uh, arising of I, arising of I, Yochako Bhikkave Chakkusu Upadu, the birth of I, and Titi, Titi, that means the staying. Now, when the I is there, now you can understand those who have some problems of the I, eyesight is poor, you have to sometimes operation your eyes, already you may have operated your eyes just like myself and uh, you have uh, sometimes you have to wear glasses. Now all these things indicate suffering but we remember always gratification uh, only, gratification that is called asad, asad. Now, by using our eye, we see pictures, we see various, uh, you know, things and we gratify, we gratify. But 
the adhinava adhinava that means the bad influence of that bad effect of that we never see we never see just like now rose is a flower very uh, now it is a very beautiful flower but they are a stone stone so it is there it is not seen it is latent just like that i is something very uh, pleasant but de- due to i we have to suffer when we see beautiful pictures we are attached to them we are attached to them then craving arises craving arises sometimes we detach uh, sometimes we have to just uh, get disgusted due to pictures then we have to suffer sometimes we become angry by seeing some some pictures then we have to suffer now what is the major cause major cause is i i now due to i we have to suffer but uh, surface level surface level we don't see this therefore we grab we grab uh, i as something very very important and very pleasant uh, and something very happy like that we grab it but finally we understand that same i same i gives suffering to us suffering to us now we have been rotating in the samsara for eons and eons of time due to this i meritorious devotees dhamma friends because this paticca samuppada process dependent origination process took place due to this i and if there is i there are diseases now i diseases right and that that means the kind of existence of i titi existence of i means suffering then appearance of this i is arising of this i is suffering now this i will not stay just like the same i is born then gradually it becomes decay and finally at the end sometimes you have to uh, you cannot see the world the i eyes becomes eyes become blind then you cannot see now then suffering you cannot uh, see the things as you did earlier on you cannot uh, read books you cannot even see the number of uh, te- i mean telephone number even sometimes you have to close the handphone to your eyes to see the exact number now that that's what happened finally therefore impermanence this i is impermanence so chakkum bikkave anicca buddha says this i is impermanent and yada nicca tandukha if something is impermanent that is suffering yan dukkha tadanatta if something is suffering that means it is soullessness it is soulless unsubstantial that means we cannot manipulate according to our wish so this is this is suffering this is suffering unfortunately we don't understand this we actually accept we welcome this i as something very pleasant very pleasant there that is why this time also we have got an i we have got two eyes this time human eyes uh, but sometimes we have got uh, animals eyes of animals auction dogs cocks goats serpents uh, flies sometimes goblins sometimes preters like that various uh, eyes we have got in the sansara now this time we have got human eyes human eyes so meritorious devotees dhamma friends now uh, this aspect of uh, five faculties uh, how they you know influence us should be understood uh, in a intricate manner because otherwise we are attached to them because of this attachment 
that we had to suffer in the sansara for a very very long period of time very long period of time we cannot imagine the time that we have suffered in the sansara due to these six faculties that is why buddha in the upada sutta in the upada discourse explicate about this factor the what is called uh, the rising of this eye birth of this eye birth of this ear birth of this nose birth of this tongue birth of this body birth of birth of this mind uh, is the is what is called suffering is what is called suffering that is the dukkha seso upadu birth of suffering so now first of all buddha explicates uh, now almost all the uh, existence all the bhava are covered up here because uh, for example when we take that first first uh, explanation yochako bikkave chakkusa upadu upadu birth titi existence abhinibhati means special birth special birth now special birth doesn't takes place for everybody now in ambi ambapali case we know ambapali was uh, seen uh, in the garden and uh, it uh, ambapali was uh, uh, found by a person there uh, who is uh, actually looking after the garden found when he went there so that is uh, ambapali was not actually uh, born in a mother's womb just a uh, special birth now the eye of ambapali ear nose tongue body mind are special births and uh, that is abhinibhati patubhava means arising arising now we are we just uh, appear in the, what is called hell or heaven or preta world uh, or asura world just appear so that is patubhava whatever it is whatever form of birth dukkha seso upadu the buddha says that is suffering that is suffering unsatisfactoriness rogahana antiti and also that is the existence of diseases rogahana antiti patu bhavo and rogahana antiti jara marana sa patu bhavo jara marana jara is dikhe and marana is death the appearance of uh, decay and death is that so that is one aspect one one faculty that is i how the operationalization of i takes place according accordingly uh, according to this buddha's uh, teaching then secondly nos na yochako bikkave gana sapadu ठीति अभिनिबत्ति पातु बावो दुखसे सो उपादो रोगानांतिति जरा मरणस पातु बावो सो वंस अगेन द नोस द अपीयरेंस बर्थ ऑफ नोस बर्थ ऑफ नोस मींस व्हाट वंस अगेन सफरिंग बर्थ ऑफ नोस एंड एक्सिस्टेंस ऑफ नोस एंड स्पेशल बर्थ ऑफ नोस अपीयरेंस ऑफ नोस मींस dukkha seso upadu that means uh, birth of suffering and roganantiti that means uh, existence of diseases jara marana sapatu bhavo that means uh, dikhe dikhe and marana death the appearance appearance of dikhe and death so that is what is called Uh, suffering thirdly meritorious devotees dhamma friends third aspect nasal aspect now what is called yochako bikkave uh, now first one is i then second one is ear uh, third one is nose now 
Yochako Bikave Sothas. Second one is Sothas. Third one is Ganas. So Ganas Upadu uh, and uh, especially Yochako Bikave Ganas Upadu Titi Abinibati Patu Bavo Dukka Seso Upadu Rogan Antiti Jaramaranasa Patu Bavo. So these are the this is the aspect of this is the aspect <coughs> explicated there. Uh, now, especially uh, ear, nose, all those things, the birth of all these things, and existence of existence of all these things, and appearance of all these things, and arising of all these things means suffering, and uh, especially. Rogan and Titi, that means uh, especially Roga, that means sickness or diseases, existence of diseases, Jaramarana, decay and death, Patubhavo, the appearance. So, all these things suffering. Now, this kind of explanation cannot be, cannot be actually found in anywhere in the world. Only the Supreme Buddha explicates about this deeper teaching. Otherwise, we just take eye, ear, nose, tongue, body, and mind as something pleasant. But these are on the on the one hand, they give us satisfaction, but there is what is called bad effect. So asad is there, but adi never we have to understand. Therefore, having Having understood the Adi never, the bad effect, we have to free from them, Nisarana. Uh, in all the other religions, do not uh, explain this Nisarana part, we have to actually refrain from them. Uh, all the religions just uh, talk of talk of what is called gratification, gratification. Asad, but Buddha says they are Isadi never, and therefore we have to Nisarana. Having uh, in the in the samsara, having not understood this uh, important Dhamma, we could not get rid of this uh, samsaric life, suffering. Now, uh, fourthly, Buddha explicates Yochako Bhikkave. Uh, Juhas, Juhaya, Upado Titi Abinibati Patu Bavo, Dukka Seso Upado Rogan Antiti Jaramarana Sapatu Bavo. Once again, this tongue, the birth of tongue, existence of tongue means Dukkha, suffering, Roganam Titi, that means sickness. Now you can understand how many diseases are there uh, attached to tongue. Now, sometimes some different different type of uh, diseases arise in tongue. Even sometimes the uh, dangerous diseases like uh, cancer, uh, you know, operational, uh, I mean, exists in uh, uh, or takes place there in the tongue. You cannot then avoid them then sometimes you have to operate it, you have to operate it, you have to suffer it. Sometimes you cannot use your own tongue till your end of your life because sometimes some various uh, uh, apparatus should be used to uh, take food till your death. Therefore, tongue is also something suffering. So, within the tongue, there is suffering within the tongue there is suffering tongue is tongue also decays therefore we cannot manipulate according to our wish now that is the thing then the body now body you can really understand body is the coarse uh, faculty you can understand easily because it is not very very soft but coarse therefore sometimes uh, limbs and all that very one day become weak, you cannot walk. 
sometimes you cannot bend your knees, bend your shoulders, sometimes cannot walk properly, cannot sit properly, cannot stand up properly. Uh, like that, there are so many problems in this body. Therefore, the appearance of birth of this body is suffering. And uh, the birth, appearance of this birth means suffering. So, existence of this birth is suffering. So, then uh, these sicknesses, diseases and uh, decay, death, all these things take place to this body. And another very, very soft thing and very uh, something we cannot actually think of easily is mind. Mind is also meritorious liberty is suffering. Now, so many mental problems. Now, some people, some people do have physical problems. Some people uh, face, encounter uh, mental problems. Now, mental problems takes place due to the existence of mind. Therefore, Buddha says, the arising of birth of mind is suffering. Existence of mind is suffering. Appearance of mind is suffering. Arising of mind is suffering. And uh, rogan and titi, that means existence of, that is the existence of diseases, mental diseases. How many diseases are there these days mentally? Various names. And sometimes we understand uh, some, some names are very, very popular, common names uh, in, in society. Sometimes we, we mention them anxiety, depression, uh, mental disorder. Now all these things, these diseases exists due to the birth of this mind and yaramarana sapatu bhavu and also decay and death all takes place. Therefore, finally, meritorious devotees, what I have to explicate is in this discourse, Buddha says that this emergence of these six faculties means actually suffering. The staying of Existence of these faculties means jara marana, decay and death. They are, that is why these six faculties means meritorious liberty is suffering. Uh, in order to understand this, we cannot uh, just uh, mere, mere looking at these six faculties. Nobody can understand there is suffering there. But According to Buddha's teachings, we have to look at them. Therefore, we have to know three factors in relation to these six faculties. One is asad, that means gratification. Second one is adhinava, that means bad advantage, disadvantage, bad effect. And thirdly, nisarana, that means refraining, refraining. So, these three factors one has to understand to have some kind of uh, real understanding of these six faculties. When you uh, get a real understanding of these six faculties, actually you want to get detached from them, not to get attached from them, attached to them. So, getting detached to these uh, six faculties uh, give you freedom freedom from the sansara because already we have been suffering in the sansara the, uh, due to these six faculties. So, these six faculties uh, took us to the hell, took, her to, took us to the animal plane and uh, Veta world and ghost world and all that. Therefore, still we are in the sansara due to the attachment of, of these six faculties. Therefore, having understood this uh, real situation, we must try to uh, refrain or, or we must try to detach from these six faculties, detach from these six faculties. In order to detach, you have to understand the bad influence of these six faculties that will help you to get rid of this sansaric life. Therefore, having listened to this Dhamma sermon, may you be able to uh, come to the final emancipation, having 
comprehend, having comprehended the Four Noble Truths within the regime of Gautama Buddha Sasana. May the Noble Truth all be blessed with you all. Aka Satta Ch Bhumatta Deva Naga Mahidika Punyantang Anumoditva Chiranrakantu Buddha Sasana. Aka Satta Ch Bhumatta Deva Naga Mahidika Punyantang Anumoditva Chiranrakantu Buddha Sasana. Aka Satta Ch Bhumatta Deva Naga Mahidika Punyantang Anumoditva Chiranrakantu Tang Sada. May you all be well and happy. Thank you.